before I get this video started, I just want to say a few things to you guys. So, first off, yes, hello everyone, I am Maester Mike, and yeah, it's been a long time. This is me making my first ever Let's Play since, the, since last December, so yeah, I've been gone pretty much the entire year, unless you count that vlog I made back in May. I've been pretty much absent on this channel for a long time, and I apologize, guys. It's just been not the best year for me. It's been kind of rough. I don't know, it's just stuff that I don't really want to go over right now, but here I am back to make a new Let's Play. <clears throat> As I said back in my vlog all those months ago, it was about three months ago, time flies by really fast, apparently. As I said in a few other vlogs I made, the game I'm going to make, it going to be playing on, is from the Wii U. It's actually not a Wii U game itself, it's a game from the Virtual Console. But it's a game that I've actually never played before. It's a very special game. I bet you guys might be able to know what, I'm, what it will be, so if I stop rambling, I'll be playing this in 3, 2, 1. We'll be blacking out the screen right now so that you can't even see what I'm going to be playing, so here we go. Soldier, do you have any new information on the enemy? Have a negative, sir. You have no idea what they are. You're like those sort of aliens from another planet. Harrison? Harrison! My god. What the hell are these things? The war against Gygus is upon us. Hello everyone, I am Maester Mike. Welcome to my Let's Play of Earthbound. Let me pause this for a second. Oh jeez. That is one of the most embarrassing things I'll ever put on this channel. And yet I've been planning that for who knows how long. But yeah. Anyway, like, welcome, every one and all, to me playing Earthbound on the Wii U Virtual Console, originally for Super Nintendo, duh. This is a game that, you know, I've actually never played this. Like, a lot of people haven't. And I've been wanting to play this game for a long time, ever since I actually got Super Smash Bros. Brawl, in fact, because I always wanted to see if they had that demo on the game, which they didn't in the American version. But now, now that Nintendo has finally given us a good way to play this on the Virtual Console for free, I'm playing it. And I probably could have done this back at the beginning of the year because I downloaded this right on New Year's Day, but I didn't. I was just lazy. Yeah, I'm playing Earthbound for you all. This may be a pretty overdone Let's Play, but I can't, but I'm really excited to do this. By the way, I said earlier that this is not, this is, this is the first time I've actually played this. That's kind of a lie. I've played ahead of time a lot, so i played this game a lot in my free times, but I've not actually completed the game, so this is not really a blind, it's kind of semi-blind, I guess you could say. i played about the first quarter, I guess? I don't know. But i played a good amount of this game, so this is Earthbound, and so I'm going to play the entire game and make my first experience with this game with you all right now. And if I can get past the title screen, here we go. This is an old file that I use for practice run, so let me just delete this. I don't need this anymore. Hopefully. I mean, this is actually like the third time I've had to re no wait, make scratch that. Fourth time I've actually done this recording, so yeah. I always want to make my videos to make sure that my commentary is perfect. Well, as good as perfect as I can get them to. Oh, and by the way, you may also notice, well, let me see how long I'm going on to. Five minutes. I may, sorry if I'm rambling, but you may also notice that since I'm back, I have much better quality in sound. Well, like my better quality in video and audio. I have a Turtle Beach headset, so hopefully my audio is coming out clearer. Is it? I don't know. And also, not only have, not only that, I've upgraded from the Dazzle, from the Dazzle recording software to using an Elgato Game Capture HD. So now, hopefully, this picture comes out a lot cleaner and smoother. So it's really nice. I have a lot better stuff, so hopefully, now that my video and audio is better, hopefully my commentary will be just as good. So, let's get on 
and stop rambling. Let's start a new game of Earthbound. I think I'll... I think I'll put the tech speed to medium. I think I'll put the sound settings to stereo. And this option lets you, if you can tell by me changing the options, it'll just change the borders of the text boxes and stuff. There's plain, mint, strawberry, banana, and peanut. I think I... Hmm. You can edit these anytime you go start up the game again. I think I'll go with mint. I like that better. Oh, and by the way, before I go on, I said that I... I said that I've already played this game before, but for the sake of this Let's Play, I'm going to, to pretend to wipe my mind so that I won't remember anything at all. So, here we go. That was me reversing all the, all the pre-Earth... I don't know what I'm saying. That was me existing all the pre-existing knowledge I have of this game, so... This... I don't know what I'm doing right now, so... Let's get on. Hey, shut up. No snark talk. I don't... Yes, I know my acting's not very good, but just play along. Yeah, sure. Mint flavor. So now let's name our characters. I've been. This is another thing I've been wanting to do for a long time. I'm gonna name all the main characters after my family. So, the main character, who is formerly known as Ness, unfortunately, is now gonna be known as. We can get this sped up a little bit. Actually, I think I'll just cut to when I actually have the. Now, what am I saying? The kid formerly known as Ness is now Mike. Unfortunately, I can't make it to Michael, which I would wish that you could, but it is what it is. By the way, in case you guys want to know in the comments, you guys can call me, you can call me either Michael or Mike. I prefer Michael, but if you want to call me by my first name, you can call me either of those two. Anyway, Okuska. Okuska. That was like the voice of the game's creator, Shikasato Itoi. Now the girl, formerly known as Paula, shall be known as... No, not KJ. She shall be known as... Katie. That is the name of my older sister. So now, name our friend. This male character, the kid formerly known as Jeff, shall be now, henceforth, be known as... Ryan. That's my younger brother. And our final friend... I wish I could keep his name as... Who, which I'm just gonna write in here for now, just for the heck of it. I'm not gonna keep it like that. I wish I could, but oh well. Kid formerly known as Who shall now be known as. If I can get to the right letter, no, get there. His name is Jason. That's my youngest brother. I have two brothers and one sister. Now I have two dogs. First off, I want to say something. For some reason, all the playable characters, you can only go up to five letters, but in this, for the rest of the things, you can only go up to six. Why are they biased against the non-playable characters? I mean, why are they, why are they playable? <laughs> Sorry, again, this is my first time making a Let's Play in, a, in months. So why is the game developers biased against the playable characters? I don't get that. Anyway, I have two dogs, but none of them will really fit this dog's name. I have a girl dog named Ginger, and I have a male dog named Todd, which I could name him Todd, but I don't think Todd really fits for this. But, you know, for my practice file, I think I'll just go with what I had in, in the first place. I'll go with Rex. Generic name, I know. Favorite homemade food? Uh, hmm. Let's see. Can I make a space? Okay. Huh. I don't know if I had this before, but let's see if I can make it right. I'm gonna put a space here. This is just the first thing that came to my mind. Has anyone ha ever had au jus? I've, my mom makes this too, for us very frequently, and we love it. It's one of my favorite kinds of foods that she makes. I could have made something else, like one of the choices is pizza. I think it's pizza, but anyway. We'll just keep it like this. Aju. It's a very it's one of my favorite homemade meals. What's my favorite thing? First, actually, you know, let me tell you something. I first played this game for just a teeny bit, like years ago, on my cousin's emulator, and when it came to this choice, I had no idea what it was meaning, like favorite thing, because that's really kind of an obscure thing to be talking about. But 
You know, I know what my favorite thing is going to be. And this is going to be really ironic for the game. I've had this plan for a while, and... Yep, that's my favorite thing, which is really going to be ironic when we get to the main boss, because this is the name of the main villain of the game. <laughs> yeah, my favorite thing is Gygus. So this is all of our things. Mike, Katie, Ryan, Jason, our dog's name is Rex, my favorite food is Aju. The coolest thing is Gygus. Not really, but we'll talk about him when we get there. Am I sure? Yep, I am sure that I want to do this. Wow! 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 Yeah, this game is really excited that we get to be playing this now. If you don't mind me pausing, I just really wish... I'm just gonna say I really wish that I had this... I really wish I was playing this months ago, because that... By then, I wouldn't have any knowledge of, like, the beginning of the game. Well, actually, I do know what the beginning of the game is like, but I wish wouldn't have any knowledge between the beginning and the end. Anyway, let's go. It's a quiet night. Nothing out of the ordinary is happening. The year is 1990X. Not now, it's 2014. This game is dated. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Onet, a small town in Eagle Land. So peaceful. Although there's these weird whoop sounds going around. Don't know what that is. This is Mike's house. My house. Just a peaceful night. Hope nothing comes to wake me. Whoa, 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 what? What was that? Oh, come on. Did another meteorite strike the town? This is like the third time this has happened this month. Can I ever get a peaceful night for once? I swear, I'm going to have a heart attack in my sleep the next time this happens. Oh, uh, hell well, let's go. Oh great, everyone else is awake. Come on, guys. This is the again, this is the third time this has happened this month. You should be used to it by now. Actually, you shouldn't be because I had another heart attack when that happened. Anyway, let me stop joking. So, this is Earthbound. If you haven't seen this by now, which considering the internet, this has been a very w well talked about game. This is a really old school type of RPG with a really tongue-in-cheek kind of environment. It's like really it's known to make a lot of cracks and like a it's tongue and cheek humor with a. It's got just got a lot of humor, just like a got a lot of fourth wall jokes and pop cultural references and just a lot of stuff to make you laugh. Despite how weird this game will get in the future. By the way, when I say old school, this is a really old school game. So controls are control stick. I'm using on the gamepad, control stick or control pad to move. Press A in most games. You press the A button when in front of a person to talk. But when you press A, this little menu comes up here. Here's an option, so if you want to talk to someone, you press A, or just press A, you can talk to someone. Who are you talking to? No one's here, so that will have nothing happen. You can also check in case there's something in front of you. There's your status, self-explanatory. Equip, equip items and goods. This is your items. So basic stuff for an RPG, just different kind of layout and stuff. You press B, you'll have our, at the bottom of the screen, that's our health and PP, which is what powers your spells, which you'll have later in the game, or PSI, that's what the things are called, and in the left there's our money. We aren't in a battle any right yet, so we'll ignore that. Also, also if you want to get through things a lot quicker, you can just press the L button, and that will act as both the talk to button and the check button, so you can just, if you're in front of someone, you can just press the L button, and this will come up immediately. So, that's there. Hey sis, did you have another heart attack? I really should get over this. As in my stupid joke about this meteorite thing happening three times in a row. Hey, bro! Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Yes, I told you, I already had another heart attack. Ah, forget it. So by the way, here's a present box. This is like a, a treasure chest in most other RPGs. Like, Even though I said this game is kind of new to me, I'm, I still know enough to actually know how to play this. Sometime later I'll also go over like... Also go over like uh, the... What stats and stuff are like in this game. So... This kind of game, you can either press L to open this quickly, but in this, 
But to do it the regular way, which is probably the most more intended way to do it, you press A to bring this up, you go down to check, and you open it. Mike, open to the present. There is a cracked bat inside. Mike takes it. So that's our first item in the game. We can go to equip. It's We equip it on our weapon. Now we have better stats in the attack. Sorry if I'm a little stuttery right now. Again, you should expect this because, again, I haven't been here for a while. Hey, Mom. How's it going? Are you are you scared? Please don't be. Again, uh, never mind. I, I'm going to keep repeating this joke so many times. It's going to be really unfunny. It's probably unfunny right now. Sorry, I almost had a burp. You probably wouldn't hear that, though. Hey, Mom. What was that noise? Mike, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? Well, thank you, Mom. Nice to know that you're on my side. I'm not nuts. And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. Yeah, that's true. She's got me right. She knows me very well. I am her son, after all. At least change out of your jammies before you go. <sighs> Fine. It's not like it's a big deal. It's just a meteorite strike. It could, it's not like there's aliens or anything. <laughs> Whatever. So now I'm in my regular clothes. Let's get going. So, as I said before, you can press the A button to bring this menu up, and then you talk. Be careful. Come home in as soon as you come home as soon as you can. Yes, yes, I know. You can press A and do that, or you can just press L. Wait, just press L, and you'll talk to her immediately. So you can either do that, or you can bring up this menu. Either one works for you. Here's our dog Rex. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Why are you awake? Did you not hear the thing that crashed in the middle of the land around here? I mean, let's check the phone. Beep! Nothing. Anyway, Rex. I, if you were a good dog, I would expect you to be barking. I mean, that's what my dogs would do if that happened. Anyway, let's go outside. It looks like the entire town is in, up, is in an uproar right now. Not surprised here. Hey, dude, what do you have to say? Did you hear the Big Bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Hate to burst your bubble, pal, but there are a bunch of policemen around here, so that may be a little bit hard for you. Hey, portly mustache man. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Well, what if it landed on your house? Huh? Would you find that... Would you think that's not... Something to be taken seriously, then, man? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get out of here. I chose to have the text go medium so that the text won't go, go by so fast in battle because there are some funny things that is said during the battles and I don't think you'd really want to miss any of that stuff. Anyway, policeman, what do you have to say? Can't go by here. Why are you blocking the road? Don't panic. It's just a... What? Meteorite that... Who? Fell. I just want to... What? Go home. Uh, are you reading your script or something? Why are you saying what and who all the time? Meteorite that who? There's no who involved. It's just a meteorite. It's an inanimate object, pal. All well, that police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. Well, it's nice just to know that nothing of very much interest happens around in Onet. This is a boring town. Hopefully this third meteorite strike will make something more interesting happen. Let's go in this house. Anyone home? Hello, bull cut head. You've got a nice bull cut haircut. I said cut too many times. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm home watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. I don't know why I gave him that voice. It's just something I wanted to do, because... Okay, this is stuff I've had planned for a long time. In fact, I don't... Short-term memory, but I don't think... I don't know if I ever said it, but I don't think I actually intended to play this game, but once I got my Wii U, and since this game would have been a really new experience for me since I wanted to play this game for years, I ended up playing it anyway. Policeman, what do you say? Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home, pronto! No, I'm going to check the meteorite out. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. 
Well, suck up your pride, man, and just get with the business. No one ever said police work is it gonna be easy. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? You're a policeman. Use, use your power to stop me. I mean, you're an adult, I'm a kid. You can do whatever you want to stop me, pal. Nah, let's try it. Goodbye! Wow, you really do suck. You're not even gonna try stopping me, are you? Whatever. Hey, another present. It's... It doesn't look like it's labeled for anyone, so I'm gonna go steal it. Hey, you. Don't you know what time it is? Nope. And I don't care. See ya! Mr. Present! There you are. Mike opened the present. There is a bread roll inside. Mike takes it. Nice. Now that... Here's our items. Uh, something you should know about this game is that it's pretty old. It's really old school in the way that you have a very limited inventory. Like, I don't... I'll wait until we have full inventory, but I think we can only hold, like, 14 or 16 items? I don't know, but anyway. This thing, ATM card. Here's some things that you can do. You can use... Which is self-explanatory. You can give this. This is to let someone else in your party hold it. This will drop it, which will just get rid of it. And help. This will tell you what it is. ATM card. You know, you shouldn't leave home without... Even... Blah, blah, blah. It even works overseas. This is something you can do to get money. In the bread roll, this is just a healing item. So anyway, let's go on. Hope you guys don't mind this being a long episode. But hey, it's been a long time since I've been... Since I've been on this channel, so... There's nothing wrong with that, right? You're a very shady-looking individual. What do you have to say? Sorry, I almost burped. I'm not a very loud burper, though. Don't worry about that. If you don't like burps, though. Hey, Mike. Hiya, buddy. The meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help my body, help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you. Whoops. I almost told you about my... Uh, by the way, Mike, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Well, nice work you have here. Treasure Hunter, this is Liar Exaggerate's house. I don't trust you. If if that's your name, then I don't think you're an actual well, billboard guy. I think you're just covering up something. What do you have to say for yourself, man? Whatever. Let's go. Please, you will not stop me. No, I wanted to I wanted to talk. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. Well, you are a very quirky cop. This must be Pokey. Nice timing, Mike. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? No, why would I be friends with that fat boy? You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Let me choose the yes option. I wish I could speed up the text, but oh well. I, that's... I just... I don't know what I'm saying. I already proved... Never mind. You can change this text options on the main menu, so whatever. And you, you live in the house next to his. I see. Yeah, it's a living hell ne living next to him. He's, an, he's a bit of an ass, if, you, if I have to say so. Shh, shh. Shh, shh, what? What's the matter? You're not gonna tell me, are you? Okay, fine, screw you. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, of way out my, get my. Whoops, my mistake. I meant, get out of my way. Here's an example of the game's humor. I love this dialogue. Clear out, of way my out get, or whatever he said. Hi, Pokey, what do you have to say for me? Hey, Mac! Don't be rubbernecking! You're getting in the cops! Oops! I mean, officer's way! You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pelty, will tell you all, more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell by what voice I'm going with, I'm gonna give him an Eric Cartman-style voice, because... Well, come on, isn't it kind of, an, kind of the only voice you'd expect to hear from him? You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine. Blah, 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 blah. I already told you. Screw you, Ness. Or Mike, whatever your name is. Go on home. Yeah, I'm giving him a Cartman voice. But, oh well. Looks like 
The policemen are blocking our way, so I guess we're not gonna be going on to see that meteorite, even though I can see it from here. Whatever. Let's go. Hey, liar. What do you have to say? <sighs> I wonder what the cops will leave. Well, just give them a few more hours. They'll keep at it. Just leave them to their work. Don't bother them. It's none of your business. I don't know what... I still don't know what I'm saying. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to say something. You guys may be wondering about... Anyone who's been watching my videos, you may have seen some of my Sonic 06 Let's Play. Uh, I, I don't know when I'll start that back up. I think I'll just have to get more used to Let's Playing again. I'm just playing this game right now to get myself back into the swing of things for this. And I'll get back to Sonic 06 sometime in the future. I don't want to give it up. I want to keep playing it. I still want to riff the game. That I think that I kind of shot myself in the foot with that Let's Play by doing the riffing. Oh well, I'll get back to it in a later point. Hey mom, nice to know that you're out here looking out for me. Welcome home, Mike. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Okay, sure. If you say no, she'll... wait. Oh, Mike, you don't understand the importance of a good night's sleep. You have, you have to just say yes, because you'll just... You won't be able to continue on the game. So, yeah. Oh, I'm tired. Let's go to bed. Good night. Later that night. What's that sound? Oh, come on. This is the second time this night. Someone's at the door. Why can't I just have a good night's sleep for once? Ugh. Who's there? I, I don't know if I said it, it's been said already, but this girl, our sister, our sister in the game is named Tracy. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Yeah, you're telling me. He's just pounding away on that thing. Hello, Mom. Is the person at the door annoying you too? My land! Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? Why not you? You're the mother. You're supposed to be the person in charge. I don't see my dad, so you should be the one in charge. You're the adult here. He's not going to stop, is he? Really? Nothing? Jeez, that's annoying. Ah, <sighs> fine, I'll go get it. Who's there? Oh, it's you. Just who I wanted to see at this time. Hey! Listen to what I've got to say! When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, uh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> Are you making fun of my mom's looks? You better not be before I pound you. If you... Never mind. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks, they're the local ruffians. I know that. You don't have to expose the game for us. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? No. If you refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. Will you come with me? No. Bring it on, man. Okay, okay, I won't say anything to hurt you. Will you please come with me? He'll just go in an infinite loop with this, so if you keep saying no. Fine. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Why, why are you saying, like, goodbye in quotation marks? Are you making a joke out of this? Oh, well. Mom, goodbye. I know that dog is unreliable, but you should take Rex along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. I already got it, so don't worry. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Alright, fine. This episode is going on for quite a long time. It's all, I think I've already recorded up to a half hour of footage. So, you know what? I think I'm going to pause here. And to make this thing a lot easier for me, since this is on the Wii U, I'm going to create a restore point so that, in case... This, actually, this should be for next episode. But, anyway, I'll be having this. Yeah, I'll have this for the next episode in case things go wrong. I usually create backups just in case my commentary is not that good. But anyway. 
This will be an episode, so I'm finally back, guys. Don't worry. Uh, to be honest, I don't know how much longer I want to be doing Let's Plays. But for now, I'll just... I'm just back for now. So, and I'll see how well I like this. If I don't if I don't feel like doing Let's Plays as a thing, which honestly, I'm actually liking this again. But if I don't feel like I want to do Let's Plays anymore, then I'll stop. But anyway, this is an episode, so... Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed my return to YouTube, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys later. Bye. Man, I really need to figure out how to do my outros for this.